Hey guys, Chris Rutz here with UnitedMarketingSystem.com. Uh, what we're going to talk about in this training video is another very powerful WordPress plugin to use for on page SEO optimization for your site here. Uh, we've already talked about the Google XML sitemaps. So this one we're talking about the all in one SEO pack. So you can come over to my website here. I've got a list of all the, um, the must have plugins for your SEO blog. I've got a training here, right here. Just click on that and it'll take you here. And you can go ahead and copy these out. What we're going to do is we're going to go back to the blog that we had before that we've been building in this training series. Um, this one here. And we're going to go ahead and install that. So once again, to install a plugin, we'll just come down here to the plugins features and add new. Okay. And simply just paste the plugin as is that I have on my website. And it'll come up as the first one. We're going to go ahead and install that. Now we we'll say yes to the uh, uh, install the plugin. So what makes this thing so powerful, um, I'm going to go ahead and activate it real quick and I'll get into that. Um, on my blog here, I talked about some of the reasons, uh, the main um, basics of SEO, the basics of things that you must have on the on-page SEO optimization. And some of those things were right here, where we had to have a title tag that would contain our keywords in it. Okay, and, we, and I discussed, I'll tell you what a title tag is here. Meta tags, where you need your description and keywords and whatnot. Okay, also you wanted to have header tags, you know, H1, H2, H3 tags. Those are basically uh, headings of your blogs and whatnot. That's already created for you with the WordPress blog. So you don't have to worry about that so much. And then the URL. So what SEO optimization and the, uh, the all-in-one SEO pack is going to take care of for you is going to take care of these two major hitters right here on every single post as if it was an individual uh, page. So I'll show you how that works. It's very, very powerful. So let's go back over here. We've installed it. And um, so there it is, Google XML sitemaps. And once that's get, once that's installed, you'll see it pop up over here on the settings section. If you pull that down, it'll be right here, all in one SEO. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. Here's a few little tricks, guys. First thing you need to do um, is you have to enable it. So we're going to go ahead and enable it. So it's asking you for three things. It's asking you for the home title. There's your title tag. It's going to ask you for your home description, there's the meta tag description, and there's going to ask you for your keywords. There's your meta tag keywords. So just out of the blue, we're going to call this um, SEO training for my home title. And my home description, and that's going to be my keyword, okay? Say I want SEO training, that's what I'm going to go for online, okay? So SEO training, maybe you want to brand yourself, you know, whatever, but make sure you get your keyword. And the most important keyword needs to show up first before anything else, okay? Same thing with the home description. So I'm going to say um, SEO training. Now for ranking on page one of Google, whatever. But I have my keyword SEO training. Now here's a cool thing. If you let's go to Google, you know, Google is the powerhouse for everything here. So let's go have to go to Google here. And I'm going to type in SEO training because I know there's a lot of competition for that word. So here's a guy that's on page one for SEO training, right? Top of the guy, top right there. So I'm going to click on his website. It's going to come up. View his page source, okay? And what you're looking for is something called meta tag, and it's going to, or meta tag, and it's going to have keywords there. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit Control F on the windows here and put in keyword. And then we're going to look for it. I don't see it there. Is it possible he didn't even optimize for that? All right, I'll put this on pause. I'll go find one that's actually optimized. That's all right, I found one. That's kind of embarrassing, man. I'm picking the first guy on Google for SEO training, and he didn't even optimize his site on page um, to the fullest that he could have done. Um, but well, there you go. So anyway, so the second guy here got it right. So I'm going to click on his, uh, and what we're looking for is view in, in Firefox, and, and the same as uh, Explorer, you see a view page source or page code, and we're going to look for a meta name, okay, so it's always start off with meta, okay, it's always going to be in the beginning somewhere, so look for meta name, keyword, and here's his meta tag description, okay, so I would just take all his keywords right here, basically, and we can modify it later, but he's ranking pretty good. So this gives me an idea of maybe some of the keywords I might have missed in my campaign that I want to look at. So let me go find where I think that. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that and put that in there. 
with or without the quotes, it's up to you. I just use quotes because I like to use that. Um, some blogs or in some uh, like article submission sites need you to have the quotes. I always have a habit of putting quotes around multiple words. So he's got SEO training, SEO search optimization training, search engine workshop. Oh, it looks pretty good. Looks like he's doing some local um, SEO. We're not doing that. So that's good for now. You get the idea. And that's really all you need to do with SEO uh, on one SEO pack. Everything else I would leave default unless you know what you're doing. And just go ahead and hit update options. So what you're going to see now when I go to my actual website so you look up here at the top left hand corner, it says my blog, just another WordPress site. Well that's the default title page for your site. Now that we've added a title to the site, we've added SEO training Chris Rutz. When I refresh this, that title will update and that's what Google is going to see too. So there it is. Okay. And when it finally ranks on Google, you'll see everything else. Like if I go to, uh, we'll go back to this guy's site, he did a pretty good job. So you can see he's got his title tag SEO training up in the title. He's got SEO training in his URL. He has SEO training in his description. So most of that is taken care of with our plugin here. And that's how you set up. It's really just filling out those three uh, sections right there and letting this plugin run. Now, what's powerful about that, now this is just the home page, okay? Now, check this out. This is where our power comes in. Now, say I want to do a post. We're going to just do a brand new post here. We can even, we can even go back into one that we've already done. So, we go back into what permalinks do. Now, all of my posts that I do from now on is going to have that plugin down here. So each of my individual pages that contain my post can have their own title tag and their own description and their own keywords. That's really powerful. So like for here, for example, we were just messing around, but what permalinks do, I would type in something like WordPress permalinks. And if you want to brand your name, something like that. And I would do a description, permalinks, rock, blah, 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 blah. And then you do your, you know, permalinks, permalinks, whatever, comma, WordPress, comma, whatever. But every page now, and you would just simply save that or publish it. Okay. Now check this out. Now when we go to that actual post, what permalinks do, here's that post. I'm going to click on it. So now that's it's all in there. So if you look up the top left-hand corner, there it is. There's my keyword. He says WordPress permalinks is now in my title. And it's going to also be in my in my um, description and in my meta kit, uh, keywords. So very powerful that you can optimize each and every one of your pages along with your home page with the SEO all-in-one SEO pack. Very very powerful stuff, guys. Uh, so go ahead and install it on your WordPress blog. I don't think there's many people out there who do not use this plugin for uh, WordPress blogs, it's just, it's just extremely powerful. So the next one we're gonna talk about after that is, um, well those are the two big on-page SEO plugins that we have. The next ones we're gonna go is some of the very powerful social plugins so we can start connecting to the social niche out there. I mean, it's, it's social has gone completely out of control in the last couple of years, so if you're not, you're not hooking up socially, you're missing out on a lot of traffic. So we'll see you guys there.